Hello everyone and thank you for accommodating this recorded presentation. I will talk about how and why we should build the digital twins of the ocean as interoperable systems of existing ocean data, infrastructure and models. My name is Ute Brenner. I'm currently a research fellow at Fraunhofer's in, located at the lovely Baltic Sea in Rostock, Germany. I'm also a member of the UN Decade Ocean Data Coordination Group and a work package lead in the recently started EU project that will implement the digital framework towards a digital twin of the ocean. What are digital twins and why are they useful? Let's have a look at the ocean area of an offshore wind farm. Digital twins provide you with a digital counterpart of a current or future system that you would like to monitor, simulate or study. For that purpose, you would want as many as possible near real-time data points of that system and often the possibility to carry out so-called what-if scenarios. You can stretch, bend and break your digital twin without harming the real-life system. And by that, you will be able to predict and anticipate catastrophic events even before they happen. Or you could predict the effects of climate change. Digital twins are well established for assets, often a system of twins. Desired properties of a digital twin are, it tells me what happens right now. It allows me to study what if scenarios. It consists of different smaller systems, and when the system changes, the digital twin changes as well. Let's apply that idea to the ocean. The ocean has no borders, and no thing is independent. Everything in the ocean is somehow connected and interdependent. This is why a volcano eruption in Tonga could be sensed in Europe because of the atmospheric pressure it caused. Digital twins of the ocean consists of the ocean itself and everything in the ocean. Let's have a closer look. The digital twins of the ocean where our wind turbine is located is then a system consisting of different systems like the ocean area, the atmospheric forcing, the turbine itself, the wind wake and waves generated by the turbine, flora and fauna or other systems like seaweed farms in the water. We might be interested in the seafloor with its existing habitats and the twin will combine physics and biology and might contain models for restoration or stress and the disturbance of the surrounding ecosystem. It might contain models for the exposure of the wind turbine structure to the ocean forces. The World Economic Forum calls this an ocean avatar, a digitized data fueled version of the ocean. The Iliad project is funded under the European Green Deal and has the ambitious task to integrate decades of EU investment in infrastructure, models and data systems towards a digital twin of the ocean. The assets include Imodnet, Copernicus, SeaDataNet, Marinomica from the Odyssea project, as well as the European Open Science Cloud. These platforms and the digital twins also play an important role in the European mission for healthy seas and oceans and will support future Horizon Europe activities. Apart from the European funded activities, there are international activities like the UN Decade program DITTO to create the digital twins of the ocean, the Ocean Data and Information System ODIS, the Ocean Information Hub and the Ocean Data Action Coalition for Sustainable Ocean Economy, only to name a few. In Iliad, 56 partners from 18 countries will work together on topics like water quality, offshore wind, aquaculture and many more. The digital twins in Iliad, also called pilots, will leverage a variety of sensors, data, models and infrastructure and demonstrate a digital twin of an ocean area. The ambition and goal is to create a digital twin system of systems that is open for participation to everyone and ensures interoperability. Iliad will leverage the concept of a platform with, for example, a user interface as an entry point while preserving data sovereignty for the participants. With data sovereignty, we mean that the owners of the data decide how the data gets used, how, when and at what price. This is important for partners who cannot share all data with everyone. Accordingly, data will not be shared into a single data lake, but instead become part of a data space based on common standards that allow interaction with the decentralized data. 
It will build on the international data spaces approach for data sharing and data exchange with the objective to design an alliance-driven data ecosystem design in support of the pilot users and stakeholders. In contrast to a keystone-driven ecosystem design, where the core is developed by one platform owner and then content is delivered by contributors into the data lake, the decentralized architecture of an alliance-driven ecosystem is determined and co-designed by the common interest of independent multiple partners. Connectors ensure security and trust, governance and openness within the alliance and the fair and care data principles for their data. Services provide access to the data and implement the digital twins. The Pan-European Data Infrastructure Initiative Gaia-X features data spaces and is built on data spaces technology. The combined architecture of Gaia-X and the international data spaces supports and enables domain data spaces and advanced smart services. Gaia-X focuses on sovereign cloud services and cloud infrastructure, while the international data spaces focuses on data and data sovereignty. Results from NextGeos, a federated data hub for access and exploitation of Earth observation data, include tools for data mining, discovery, access and exploitation. Iliad will build the semantic foundation with the ocean vocabulary and ocean information model, along with implementation according to best practices to create an ocean interoperability data space and the digital twins of the ocean through smart services on data, models and infrastructure. To summarize, digital twins of the ocean should be built through an alliance-based architecture to ensure data sovereignty, fair and care principles for the data, and interoperability of existing and future ocean data systems. I would like to thank and acknowledge my colleagues who supported this work and presentation. Please do not hesitate to reach out if you should have any questions. Thank you again for having me and for your attention.